Hey guys, I'm Sherkin Match today and Raid Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video, guys. How are you all doing? Did you guys pull during the extra legendary event? If so, let me know who'd you get in the comments below. Make the rest of us jealous. I'm gonna open in some shards on my mini account and on my main account in today's video. It's been about a month since we've done a shard opening video. True to my word, try to kind of uh wrangle in the old spending a little bit inside the game. You gotta check yourself, you know. Sometimes you gotta you gotta check yourself before you riggedy wreck yourself inside Raid Shadow Legends, guys. I have done that personally. But I'm back at it because I missed the shard opening a little bit. I miss them guys man Just when I thought I was out they pull me back in just when I thought I was out They pull me back in Quick shout out here to the sponsor. Uh, I mentioned it last month as well, but we have Aura here. Aura is a basically all-in-one internet security system. I was able to remove my name from a bunch of these data breaches that I found in Coinbase and Coin Tracker. I'm monitoring my credit report. I've removed myself from all those annoying find your friend, you know, sites out there and VPNs and much, much more. Go ahead and try it out, guys. Link in the description below. And uh, you can always cancel if you don't like it. It's a 14-day free trial, so why not go ahead? ahead and give it a shot here. Also, we're going to go ahead and donate $100 to charity for every legendary that you pull on both accounts. Uh, let's go ahead and give back to the ARC, an organization that made a massive impact on my life. For those of you who don't know, my brother passed away six years ago. He was autistic and the ARC was an organization that made a lot of difference in our lives. It connects families and individuals with developmental and uh, intellectual disabilities, autism, Down syndrome, everything, you know, in that category with services that can help them out. You know, my my brother, uh, you know, at the age of around 11, it was the saddest day of my life. We had to drive him to a group home and it was just, I just remember the whole family crying on the way home. I'm like going to get emotional suddenly. I didn't even mean to tell this story, but uh, in a way it was, it was awesome because he had, he had a lot of behavioral issues, my brother, uh, especially at that age. And it felt so sad, like we were giving away, like we were giving up on him, but it ended up being a really good thing, having the services that he needs in a group home. We visited him obviously all the time, every week and whatnot, and took him on the weekends. But anyway, guys, the ARC actually hooked us up with that group home. So they do a lot of really good work, a lot more than just that as well. Um, uh, so I'll have a link if you guys want to make a small donation as well in the show notes below. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We have 24 ancient shards on the mini account. I'm just hoping for some good epics, man. It is weird now, but I get like really excited over epics. High Katoon, Duck the Pierced, and Corpse Collector. Unfortunately, I already have High Katoon. I've already built Duck the Pierced and Corpse Collector. Not interested in. And really, none of the rares get me super excited. Maybe Avere the Alchemage. But I don't know, that's about it, guys. That's about it. By the way, the shirt. What are those? Another edition of the Ash merch, which is coming out hopefully in the next month or so. All the proceeds of that is also going to be going to charity. More on that in a little bit. They're not available right now, but this one's kind of freaky. It's got kind of a face that, that looks a little bit like me. I'm not gonna lie. This Corel, not your last name? Not originally. What is it, Pinocchio? Bunch of blues, man. Solaris, pretty good movie with George Clooney, pretty good. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's gonna be yeah, Sanctum Protector. And one more. So much for a double extra legendary on my mini account, huh? Well, we do get Grush. Okay, well, there we go. So we get a free login champion and a bunch of blues. Nothing too exciting, guys. Let's go on over to the main account where we have about 200 shards ready to go. All right, guys, here we are in the main account. We have 200 in two. Let's go ahead and open those two solos to make it a nice even number here, guys. All right, all right, all right. We get a, a, a beast wrestler. A beast wrestler. Half these dwarves, man. I, I, I've never maxed them out, obviously, these rares. I will eventually, though. We get uh, Scabrius as well. He's all right. Let's go ahead and go 10 by 10. Give me those Legos. Give me something good. How about like a Calvalax or something like that, right? Or maybe uh, maybe a Jetney so I don't have to finish the Fragment Summon. I'll take that. I'm going to be traveling this coming weekend uh, for four days. So it's tough to do Fragment Summons and stuff like that when you're traveling for work especially, right? Uh, anyway. We get Alaric the Hooded, we get Soul Drinker. Soul Drinker's kind of cool. I like Soul Drinker. Alaric the Hooded, not so much. Get a Hell Freak. No, nothing too exciting here. Nothing too exciting. Castigator, though, not too bad for a rare champion. All right, we get Shadow Bow Turlac. Get a Fleshmonger. 
Fleshmonger we talked about here on the channel many, many times, but just in case you guys have missed it, Fleshmonger is actually a pretty decent Skinwalker rare champion for the end game, ironically, because finding the big version of decreased defense in some of these secret rooms, especially, is incredibly difficult. Uh, and he here he is, an attack based champion with that decreased defense. There's magic only affinity rooms as well in the Doom Tower. Uh, Doom Tower hard track and he has an extra turn on this uh second ability as well on a three turn cooldown so really a, a rare worth like keeping in your vault at the very least right acolyte there he has a cleanse that we uh, went through we get chopper i just wanna leave no please get to the chopper what do you do what are you <laughs> what are you waiting for there we go man i butchered that so bad that's my d plus arnold and schwarzenegger impersonation for you guys Giving you all the extras today. I'm pulling out all the stops to try to make this video entertaining. Despite the lack of legendaries, we get a Doom Priest and a Jizzo. All right, well, I love Doom Priest. I love her passive. I love that bolster. Love her in a Relentless set, especially Hellborn Sprite. Pretty good for Clan Boss and... Nothing too exciting other than that, guys. Let me go ahead and make room. We have 150 shards coming up. Stay tuned. I'm here. What are you waiting for? I'm here. Do it now. Kill me. Kill me. Come. Um Dude, I'm so bad, bro. I need to work on that, man. We got a judge. Don't judge. We got a Vala. We got a Eris. We got a Hill Nomad, Ironclad, Hellfang, Cannoness, and Muck Stalker. Not a lot to talk about here. I guess Steel Bowyer is the forgotten enemy max HP champion right there, right? Uh, big game. Attacks all enemies. Damage increases according to the enemy max HP on a five-turn cooldown. Doesn't do as much damage as the other enemy max HP champions, but she's got it if you're looking for it. Cannoness also has really good multipliers for a defense-based champion on her A1 and her A2. She's also got an ally protect, big version, an increased defense on a target and on this champion for two turns, and a continuous heal on everybody, and this is on a two-turn cooldown. I'm telling you what, man, Cannon S might be one of the more underrated uh, rare champions in the... Wait, what the hell? Or epic champion, excuse me, inside the entire game. She got a buff recently. I want to say like six months ago. Baroth the Blood Soaked, War Maiden, Lodric Falconheart, Odachai. Oh, man. Baroth is pretty cool on all his abilities. He's doing something different, right? And they're all kind of support mixed with damage. Got a shield on the first hit. Got a, uh, a heal on the second hit. He's got a decreased attack on the first hit. Decreased defense on the second hit on his third ability. He's more of like a, a secret room champion uh, or a faction war champion. But that's about it. All right. Who we got here? Gladiator, Headman, Elhane. Gee whiz, man. What an underwhelming. I mean, this is golly. What an underwhelming shard opening video to come out of retirement for. Jeez. All right. Tormentor, Avir the Alchemage, Frozen Banshee, Greybeard, Guardian, Elaine, Choppa. Good. Look how happy he is. I'm so sorry. We got a Gnarlhorn. We got a Hellfame. We got a, Br a Grush now in the mini account and the main account. Did a guide on him recently as well. Grush is a beast. He really is a good champion. I didn't mean to sound underwhelmed with him earlier. Uh, guys. Let me make room again. Be right back. All right, guys. 100 shards left. Come on, man. Mercy. Mercy. Raid gods of Teleria. Arbiter. Call of the Arbiter. Have mercy on my soul, please. No, that's not it, man. A bunch of blues. That's that's not it. That's not it at all. That's not what we're looking for. Come on, man. Come on. All right. A bunch of blues. This is not it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude. How long before that starts getting annoying? It starts. What did I get? We'll never know. All right, so what the heck happened here, guys? Did we... Do we... What did we get? Let's go to the old tavern. Did we get... Imagine if we got a... Okay, we didn't get a double legendary, that's for sure. We didn't get anything much exciting at all here. All right. I guess that was, that happened, that happened. I mean, I'm here, I might as well make a little bit of room. Actually, you know what I'm doing? I'm leveling up Mora, Mora gain. Now, I haven't built her yet. I'm kind of excited about her. Uh, pretty cool looking champion. Expect a guide at some point here on the next channel. I'll just free up a few spots here so we don't have to go make room again. But that is so weird. I have no idea what is happening. It happened on the Torm in the Cold video that we did that I was super excited about, man. I was so excited in that video. Uh, <laughs> It's like I, I, I uncovered a new secret with Torment or something, even though it wasn't anything super new. Adriel, Gladiator, Fury Stroker, Candle Guard, Narlhorn, no thank you. This is it. This is it. I can smell the Legos. 
Vagabond Grandmaster War Made in Haria Kale. Ugh! Dude. This is why you don't open during a non-two-time event. This is baloney, man. It's malarkey. Son of a jackal. What the heck is going on here? Fang Cleric. Gator. Abyssal Cuffin. Smasher. Arcanist. Quagger in the Crown. Ulfrig. What does Ulfrig do again? Some of you guys like this, dude. The most bland epic champion, visually, that you could ever ask for in the game. This poor dude is just like, yep, I'm all Frank. Doodly do. We got a decreased attack on the A1. We got an AOE chance at stealing a random buff on the A2. Continuous heal on all allies. Not a bad A2, to be fair. Uh, I don't know what his multipliers are. Turn me of all allies, place an increased attack on all allies on a four turn. Wish there was a three turn cooldown, or grant an extra turn, one of the other on committed offense. And then removes all decreased attack debuffs from all allies at the start of this champion's turn. I would say mediocre. I would say mediocre on that champion. That would be my, my opinion. Nice A2, the rest of the kit, meh. <clears throat> A3s, okay, here we go, here we go. Give So we get all 10. My man is red and he's ready to be power crept, guys. All 10, I throw so much shade at this champion, guys. And look at me. Look at me. It's the curse of all 10. He's got a decrease attack on his A1. He's got an increased defense, a shield on all allies on his A2 if you kill an enemy. What? And then revive somebody with a crappy revive if you kill an enemy. I've said it so many times. I, I know the Altan fan club's gonna be after me on this one, but he needs a buff, dude. This A2 wall of flame, just change it to an AoE, man. And we're looking okay, you know? But I mean, I could pick, jeez, uh, a dozen increased defense champions over him. Uh, sure, he has decreased attack, but you know, I don't, I don't know. I do not love Altan, clearly. But Green Warden Ruark. Now, he's an interesting champion. He's got the dude living in his chest, first of all. That's pretty cool. And then he's got, like, really, really cool-looking armor. I don't know, man. He's, it's, uh... I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of Zelda. And I am on the Zelda kick right now with the rest of the world all through my son. He's at that age where he's really starting to get into, uh... Get into video games. And I'm having to limit screen time. I'm doing, like, the big boy stuff with him because he's so into uh, to Zelda. Transfers all debuffs from this champion to the target. Heals his champion by 5% of their max HP for each debuff transfer. Okay, a really good A1. A2. Rust consume you. Attacks all enemies. 100% chance. Decrease attack. Two turns. Also steals all continuous heals. Kind of random. From each enemy. This effect cannot be resisted. It's cool, but it's random. A3, Call of the Wild. Places a taunt buff. That's right, taunt. Uh, an increased defense and a strengthened buff on this champion for two turns on a four-turn cooldown. So I have him built already. I think he is... Well, let's just finish the kit here. Uh, Knight of Vines. Whenever an ally loses 10% of their more max HP from a single hit, plays a shield buff on that ally for two turns equal to 10% of their max HP. So you can remove it to a zero turn cooldown. So just happening every single time they lose 10% or more of their max, a single max HP from a single hit, sorry. Uh, it's not a bad passive at all. It actually does add up, it's nice. Uh, and then he has defense in all battles by 30%. So my thing is, is he's one of the two champions with taunt in the game right now. I understand why it's not on a book down to a three turn cooldown because taunt for two turns on a three turn cooldown seems like it might be broken in a variety of different areas in the game. However, this just ain't it. You know, I really would love if it was an AOE decrease defense and an AOE strengthen, still on a four turn cooldown. So everybody gets the increased defense and the strengthen. To me, that would make him a much more viable champion. Taunt is weird, man. It's a weird ability. It's not as good as provoke, you know, cause it can still use an AOE attack, you know, against him and hit the other allies. I don't know, man. It doesn't force them just to use the A1, you know, like, like provoke does. So for me, he's just a little underwhelming. I hate to say it because he seems so cool, you know? He seems so cool. Uh, but that's what I would do to fix him, to, to buff him. But maybe I'm premature. I just have not seen anybody out there, heard of anybody out there, all the top players out there, all the strategists, all the gurus who have found an amazing use case for Green Warden Ruark 
who to me it seems like he could have some potential it seems like he could be very good what about you guys you let me know what you think of this champion where would you use him where do you use him if you have him as well i might i'm gonna throw him in faction in, in uh in the guardians once they have it for sylvan uh i'm not gonna empower him is what i'm trying to say okay we got 30 more to go guys be right back all right guys 30 shards we're not gonna pull a legendary but stay with me anyway for the lightning round here we go boom we got a Masamoto, we got an Allure. Two, well, one really, really good champion and one meh champion. We got a Hurler, we got a Blood Painter, we got a Hellborn, we got a Banshee, blah, 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 blah. All right, who else? The last 10. Come on, lightning round. Give me one more legendary. Give me something good. Geomancer. Hey, you know what, guys? Geo. Well, let, let me put it this way. I'm going to give you guys a cliffhanger here to end the video. It's going to be a massive cliffhanger, like old school 24 Jack Bauer cliffhanger. You can see that the time ticking off the clock right now, right? I'm going to release my top 15 ranked in order Force Affinity Champions in the game. Geomancer is ranked number 